Hello, Bacon. I'm, I, I know, I'm so early. Wow. This is definitely a uh, normal stream starting time. Where the fuck am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Hello. Maybe late. Um, I mean, going by normal stream time, I think I'd count as late. Uh, well, there wasn't really a time I was supposed to be streaming today, so uh, it checks out. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I was gonna start a little bit earlier. I guess we'll see, but my, uh, my microphone, like, had changed settings for some reason in OBS. Hopefully it sounds okay. It was cutting me out a lot. I don't know why. It was- I hadn't changed it at all. My internet? Okay, it seems like it's holding out. As you can now hear as well, I have, um... Something playing in YouTube, and it seems to be okay. Which is surprising, because I've been struggling to load images on Twitter <laughs> over the, like, past couple of days. You can only hear every seventh word, don't fuck with me like this, I will scream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour some of my tea, by the way. Oh, wait, should I get the, like, the ASMR? It's not very loud, actually. Yeah, it didn't make any noise. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. That's, uh, that's me flavored tea that I got earlier this week. It's not bad, actually. Hmm. For, uh, nearly, I would say, hmm, what's the word? It was kind of like jumbled together stuff from the website. It was pretty good. I'm so so- oh. I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, it went down to red for a second, but it's okay now again. Hmm. It's good, yeah. Um, let me get the page for it, actually. Uh, Adagio? Astrofell. Magus. Where's my Adagio? Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna go to their website. Let me let me read what it is, cause it's like uh, it's a bit hot for me to drink right now. I have biscuits though. Is that even how you spell Adagio? Yes, how you going, Bacon? I just chatting stream on my Twitch channel. I can't believe it. Still can't believe- <laughs> yeah, no way they reached out and, uh, definitely made it. It wasn't someone else making it. Uh, thank you. It was on, uh... Can I spell this right? Hmm. I don't know if that's correct. Shit. Ah, I spelt it wrong. Yeah, that checks out. On uh, Mason's channel, they were doing uh, tea making for VTubers. Oh, it's red again. There we go. <laughs> you only usually do just chatting when you eat an onion. It's true. You know, you're not actually wrong. That's the good thing about that. Uh, Baldur's Gate three. Yes. Okay. What What's in my tea? Um, hmm. It's Earl Grey Moonlight, White Blueberry, and Lavender Lemon. Um, and, you know, for something made in a couple of minutes on a stream, off off the whim, it's like a, a nice, uh, fruity... Well, it's lightly fruity, and like a black tea. Like a light black tea with light fruity tones. It's nice. Hmm. Oh, it's red again. Ooh, that was a bit longer. <laughs> I'm watching it like a hawk. Friend is making fun of me saying, uh, flavor, thanks to LGI. And color th <laughs> Uh, the flavor. I should have been the emote, I'm pretty sure. Where, where are my, where are my Twitch emotes? There we go. Oh, red again. So, it's... Mostly stable, then it cuts out every every once in a while. 
What does you flavored tea taste like? Uh, Earl Grey Moonlight, white blueberry and lavender lemon, <laughs> specifically. Hello, Hitman as well. How are you doing? This is the tea I'm drinking. It's quite good. It's like a light black tea with some fruity notes. I think I uh, brewed this one for a bit too long, though. It's more bitter than the other cup I had. Hmm. Yeah, I normally drink, like, fruit teas. I'm not a whole... Okay, I'm gonna turn that down, actually. I'm not normally, like, a black tea sort of guy, but this is pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> the flavor. Colorverse, that's, that's like... Wait, why'd you spell it? Bacon, why are you spelling it my way? Shouldn't you be spelling it the other way? Bacon, are you okay? Have you taken over? Is this a fake bacon I'm talking to right now? Hmm. Oh, it went red again. It seems to be mostly stable with a few hitches. Which I think is streamable. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I was so annoyed. I was going to talk about... Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it's a lot... It cuts out a lot more, but that's just because it's Wi-Fi. I feel like I can probably stream on this, though. It's just a bit more scuffed. I'm, I'm glad, because I really did want to play... I wanted to stream this week, and I really want to play the games that I have on stream this week a lot. <laughs> if I got delayed playing Inscription, I would have been pissed. Like, I wouldn't know what happens in that game so bad. And also, I need to see how many people I can get killed in Darkest Dungeon. I mean, uh, how many people I can s save from the terrors... That are in the darkest dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Saved it, saved it. Hmm. What are, What's on the ingredient list, actually? So, black tea. There's apple pieces. They are in there. I could probably look at them right now. White tea, lemongrass, rosehip. Um... Orange, lavender, blue cornflowers, natural lemon flavor, natural vanilla flavor, blueberries, natural bergamot, uh, natural blueberry flavor, and natural cream flavor. I feel like whenever I see... Like, I know they can't do it because of advertising laws and all that, but whenever I see quote-unquote natural flavor, I always feel like it's not going to be natural. <laughs> like it's the most processed thing on earth. Waiting for this? Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. Any minute now, and then we'll all be free from this. Hmm. Ah. Mm. Yeah, I definitely left this one to brew too long. I will have a, uh, a holding tea mug toggle in 2.0 when I do that as well. That will be nice. Oh, I meant to make a frame for all those fan art things. I forgot. I, f <laughs> I forget a lot of things, to be fair, though. Let's be real here. Um. Oh, yeah. I'll probably, uh... I'm just going through motions of things I would have probably said on any other stream. I'm planning, hopefully today, if I can get the setup working, um, to record a video of me making waffles. Because I was going to do a stream of me making waffles. But... Oh. Oh. It went down to yellow, but didn't go down to red. Um, what was my point here? I don't think the waffle... Making a waffle probably wouldn't be enough to fill out an entire stream, I don't think. Because that's like, maybe an hour. And for all the setup of getting that stream stuff out there, <laughs> it's too much effort. I can't really be fucked to uh, stream the entire thing. thing. So I think I'll just make a YouTube video. Which I can do. I have the I have the technology. I have the skill set. Mm. 
So we'll get some exclusive YouTube content. Holy shit. No way. Wanna, I want to see how much I can fuck up making a uh, waffle. We'll see what happens. Okay, there was about... One and a half cups in this teapot. I probably could have filled it more. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, it was red for a little while there. Seems okay, though. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. On the topic of me flavored tea, have you ever seen the thing that it's like... You, <laughs> you uh, wring out all your sweat, and then you boil your sweat, so you just get the salt, and then you salt, like, <laughs> unsalted uh, chips or... Uh, what are they called? Potato crisps? Or, uh... Called, yeah, they're called chips in America. And you, like, salt them with your body salt? Maybe I should do that for a stream. <laughs> I could do a, uh, a ring fit section. And then I could do a, a boiling my own salt water section. That wouldn't be deranged at all. I feel like that's against TOS. Like, it might not be, but I feel like it, in spirit it is. Oh, we dropped out again. Okay, we're back. And I'm glad I brought biscuits of the tea. Hmm. They go well together. Who would have guessed? Hmm. Oh, that was a bit longer. Uh, I am going insane. Two of my old friends are trying to make me feel insane. Are they- how are they gaslighting you, Bacon? What's happening? <laughs> Please, what- what is going on? I'm here to help. I'm here with the express purpose of helping you right now, right here. Totally. I'm not lying. Ah. <sighs> I do like tea a lot, I think. I should become like a tea aficionado or something. Oh, it dropped out. Okay, it's back. Yeah, I think this will be stable to stream on. I hope. Unless it all changes tomorrow, which it could. Hope it doesn't, though. Oh, not tomorrow. The next day. Pardon me. I was going to describe the color of the tea, but the mug I'm using is <laughs> completely black on its innards, so it's just void tea. Like, if there wasn't any reflection, I wouldn't even know there was tea in there. Oh, hello, Pancake. Welcome to the tea stress test. How you doing? Hmm. I should have made more. We don't really have any bigger pots, though. I could start eating, like, the uh, the tea leaves. <laughs> Doing good, that's good. good. I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. Ah. Bum, bum. Hmm. You gotta- Oh, Let's fucking go! Hell yeah! Been on any, like, super cool dates or anything? I'm glad to hear it, that's awesome! <laughs> Can we get a can we get a round and a round of applause in chat? Actually, I don't think there's any. There's no like animated clapping emotes on Twitch um, at all. I should make one of those. That'd be a good animated emote, actually. Oh, it dropped out again. Hmm. Oh, there is a. Oh, that's a catch. Never mind. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you for not supplying good emotes. Dates would be difficult, considering he lives in it. Ah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. That is very fair. Hmm. Still, though, that's very good news. Oh, I forgot to add Nor's thing to the uh, fan art thing. 
Grab that, actually. There's no. There we go. Um, I'm gonna have to find my folder as well. Ah, uh, I don't even remember where I put this stuff. my art folder first. So I have it in both. Uh, there's my fan art folder, open original. This deserves to be in the slideshow. <laughs> no, I don't want to add this as a live 2D item. Definitely not. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't really want to. <laughs> um, and there should be a slideshow thing somewhere. I don't remember where that is. Well, I found it. Thank god. Boop. Alright, let's see if that comes up in the slideshow. I hope it does. Come on. Maybe I need to refresh the source, actually, for it to, uh, to happen. How do I do that? No idea. It's looping, so if it comes up, it comes up. It's uh, It was brought by on Batbug stream uh, that I have the Jim Carrey... Fuck, what, is, what movie is it even from? Uh, he has, like, crazy hair. Yeah, this one. Oh, an Ace Ventura. The <laughs> Jim Carrey Ace Ventura hair. Like, the top half is just my hair. And it's kind of really worrying, actually. I have this image downloaded, I can put it on the stream. Like, <laughs> it just has the hair. It's, it's, it. It's, it freaked me out when I saw it. I'm never gonna live it down. I haven't actually seen Aisha and Shura. I feel like I watched something related to it. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna watch Ace and Shura. And then I watched the wrong movie. And I don't even remember what that movie was. Uh, what fucking movie did I watch thinking I was watching Ace Ventura? And then it just wasn't. It might have been Liar Liar. Yeah. Maybe I did mean to watch Liar Liar? I do not remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's mostly stable, the internet, which is good. That means I can actually stream this week. Oh yeah! Ba Bacon, are you still here? <laughs> I need to discuss with you the complexities of root beer toothpaste? We, we need to dive into this issue. That's what I wanted to talk about on the art stream. That didn't happen. Why... Who... Who has toothpaste that tastes like root beer? I don't understand. I'm... F I'm fucking flabbergasted. Uh... Heard an Australian drink US root beer and say it tastes like toothpaste. Who... what? <laughs> Both of those things don't connect to each other. Australians apparently have toothpaste that tastes like root beer. Yeah! I... I brushed my teeth this morning, I can tell you. I think I know what root beer tastes like. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm like 99% sure. I, I don't think they have a similar taste. <laughs> um, I don't know, is it like a bacon toothpaste sort of thing? But not as in bacon on egg, just like, oh, my, my toothpaste is bacon flavored, so uh, it'll taste like I'm eating bacon when I brush my teeth. Is there like, is this guy only using root beer toothpaste? Has he been brought up in, like, a scientific 
environment. It's like a, a test he's not even aware of. It's like a Truman Show thing, where his parents have only ever used root beer toothpaste, and he just only knows that. They all they replace all the toothpaste with root beer toothpaste. He's like some fucking government sting operation. Because I... I it, it's like gaslighting myself. It's like, do I know what root beer tastes like? Am I in the wrong here? I feel like I know what root beer tastes like, and I feel like I know what toothpaste tastes like. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I, I know both of those things. Ooh, dropped out again. Ooh, that was a longer one. I'm getting to the bottom of my tea. It's happening, the cup is depleting. I probably shouldn't have drunk tea today. It's quite warm, actually. You know what? I wanted to drink tea, and that's what happened. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. So what am I going to stream this week? I think mostly it's probably just going to be like a duplicate of last week. Honestly. Because I'm going to... Uh, go to... What am I saying? I'm going to play Darkest Dungeon. Because uh, I enjoyed actually getting into Darkest Dungeon. Like, every time I've played Darkest Dungeon, apart from the recent stream, I haven't been able to get into it. And I've, I'm have i more invested this time. Which I'm very glad about. Because, in theory, I really like Darkest Dungeon. Sort of. I like its art style. I like its setting. I like its mood. The only thing that doesn't really capture me that much is, like, the gameplay. Because I'm not a very big, like, turn-based combat guy. Like, Persona and Paper Mario are, like, the most I've played of that genre, really. Unless I'm forgetting something. Um, but that's, like, kind of it. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hopefully I can get a new liking to it by playing through the uh, main bit of the game. And then they'll be in the rest of Inscription on uh, Thursday, which I'm excited about, because I've been thinking about that game, like, all week. It seems very, very cool from, like, the half I played. I assume I played half of it, and I and I want to see what happens in the rest of the game. Um, and then probably art on Saturday. I've got a piece I was working on that I was going to do on stream until my internet died on uh, last Saturday. So I'll probably do it this week. Um... And I'll probably, I think I'll add a stream day at some point. If I get enough work done on a uh, larger animation project I'm doing right now, because uh, I want that done early next month, I'll uh, add another stream day, because there's a Minecraft mod pack I've been playing, actually, of all things, <laughs> called uh, Vault Hunters. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a procedural generated looting experience in Minecraft sort of thing. And I've been playing the older version of that, and a new one is coming out soon. So I might uh, play through that on stream. Because I've been enjoying the, like, looting grind for once of a game, like, uh, when I was playing it a little bit. I didn't think about what I'm going to replace Inscription with, though. I never really think that far ahead, actually. There's a lot of things I could do. There's like a ton of fucking games I could play, to be fair. I'm not really... Like... <laughs> at a loss for video games I have to play. Like, I could start... I think Bug Fables is pretty long, actually. It's like a 50-hour game or something. I do want to play that at some point, though. Because uh, it appeals to me. Um, oh, main story, 25 hours. Huh. I thought it was a lot longer. That's actually not too long. Maybe I'll replace, uh... Hmm. Like, I could replace Darkest Dungeon when I'm done with that. Who knows how that... How long that'll take, though. Because Darkest Dungeon is kind of like a time nebulous. 
I could beat it really quickly, I could beat it really slowly. I'm not actually sure. Um, there's Fury? Although I don't know if I want to play that. I played that a little bit in my own time once, and I I don't know, I kind of struggled with it. Maybe I'll be better at it, uh, better at it now. I'm speaking way too quickly. Um, Hollow Knight, actually. That might be one to do. Because I've uh, played a little bit of Hollow Knight. And I, I did that thing where you're playing a video game, and you're like, yeah, okay, I'm really enjoying this, I'm into it. And then you, like, forget to play it for a couple of days, and then you lose all semblance of where the fuck you are. That happened to me with Hollow Knight, and um, then I couldn't pick it back up, so that'd be good to do on stream. That's a similar length to uh, Bug Fables. A bit longer. Depends. Uh, if I do the sides, it's a lot longer. I always take this into account, because I need to like, map out how long it'll take me to play in sittings. Hollow Knight is very good, though. Like, I haven't, I haven't even beat it, and it's just good. Oh. Ooh, we're dropping out big time. Uh-oh. Okay, that was a longer one, but it's okay. Uh, um... I did want to play Steve Jackson's Sorcery at some point. I have that installed. Oh, it's dropping out again. Um... Oh, oh it's fluctuating. Oh, jeez. Okay, it seems to be fine. Um, yeah, I could do that at some point, because that's just kind of a fun, like, chill, story-driven, choice-based thing. I was considering... Uh, this is the police. Oh, Nat! <laughs> Hello! Uh, wait, let me... Oh no, the stream's dying right now. No. Internet, no. <laughs> uh... Uh, let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. Ah, hello! <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Nat. How's it going? How did the uh, rest of your Pokemon go? You've joined me for a, st a stress test stream. I'm finishing my tea right now. Yeah, how did the how did the curse and abominations go? Thank you for reading. I was uh, planning on, on uh, raiding you, actually. <laughs> I was too slow, though. Hmm. That's like a like a full fan game, right? Well, yeah, obviously it's not, you know, Pokemon Company, but there must be a, like quite a bit of stuff in it. <laughs> Finished third gym, got lost in the caves. Oh, that does happen with caves. That's fair. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just chatting away right now, talking about video games I might play. Actually, on the topic of Pokemon, I did want to try. Um, I think either Black or White or X and Y. I'd have to decide for a Nuzlocke, because I haven't played much Pokemon. Um, but I think it'd be fun to like throw me into the deep end, essentially, <laughs> with a Nuzlocke. It's huge multiple countries like Pokemon Gold. Oh. Huh. I think the the only like Pokemon uh, like fan game I really know about is um, Uranium. That's like the only one I've really heard of. Do Nuzlocke of Fusions? Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it would get to a point where I just had no idea if it was like an actual Pokemon or not, though. <laughs> the Fusions did look interesting, to be fair. Radical Red? I think I've heard of that one as well, actually. I think someone I'm following is playing that currently. Yeah. I don't actually know exactly what that is. So welcome, Infinite Engines. Hmm. I'll have to s think about slotting that in at some time. Because there is a new Pokemon coming out. I don't know if I'll get it, though. Normally I'd say, like, oh, wait till it's on sale, but... <laughs> when do Nintendo games ever go on sale? Let's be real. Hmm. Comes out, like, early next week, though. Insurgents? Xenoverse? Rock yeah, there's a there's a ton that I'd have no idea about. Yeah, that makes sense. Because <laughs> there's got to be, like, some that are, like, really, really good. Better than, like, mainline games, right? Maybe not Insurgents? It's hard? I would probably flounder then. 
since I have, like, little to none Pokemon experience. When does, uh... Pokemon release? When is the Pokemon game coming out? Uh, 18th. So, like, four or five days, depending on where you live. Nice. Hmm. There was one I did... <laughs> I just kind of wanted to play it for the battle music. It might be X and Y. Uh, or the danger music. Maybe it's black and white, actually. Is it this? Oh yeah, this is a banger. This kind of goes hard. <laughs> And why? I think I might have played X and Y or Black and White at some point. I might have rented it from a video game shop. I got to, oh yeah, thank you for rating. Do go, do go do what you gotta do. Get some fresh air and drink water and all that good stuff, thank you. <laughs> I may be dying, but damn, this shit slap, yeah. Look, I may be on the floor, but I'm on the floor grooving. Like, it's worth getting down to low health just to hear that. <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just goes hard. <laughs> I can't believe they'd just make that shit slap so hard. How could they do this? Ooh. Yeah. I'm glad the uh, the internet isn't cutting out too much. I, uh... Our modem died recently. And there's been trouble getting my ethernet connected. So it's, uh... Oh, now it's dropping out. I'm just doing a stress test on Wi-Fi, and it seems to be okay, mostly. It's dropping out sometimes, but it's alright. I think it's manageable. <clears throat> I guess I can remove Outer Wilds from my, uh... Two played list on Steam now, actually, since I did play that. Um, remove from two play. I can probably get rid of, um... Shit. Call of Juarez as well, because I played that recently. Yeah, I definitely think Hollow Knight is a good pick soon. I want to play that. Um, I could replay Doom as well. Like the 2016 Doom. I wouldn't mind that, actually, because that is a good game. I enjoyed playing that a lot when it came out. This is the police. It's like, I don't know, I could do it, but... Hmm... I remember it, I played like half of it, and the later half of the game just got like a real slog to get through. And you can't like name your units or anything, which would be fun to do, like name uh, officers after like chat members and stuff. That's always fun, but they don't let you do that, and there's no mods for it. So I don't know. Like it's a kind of fun strategy game, and it has some fun scenarios in it, but it might be too much of a slog. Um other games. I've heard Barrow Trauma is good. I don't really know what it's about. It's like a submarine FTL sort of thing, I believe. Um, hmm. What other games do I have here? Uh, I played Celeste. Mm, I don't really want to play City Skylines. There's a few DS games I want to play, actually. Uh, I need to set up a scene for them and get the, like, ROMs. Or the emulators. Or, uh, <laughs> I mean my totally real 3DS capture card. Yeah, those are, those are easy to come by. Um, I want to play through the, like, Mario and Luigi games. Like, the RPG ones at some point. I need to play uh, Thousand Year Door, actually. I might do that before I play Bug Fables. Now I'm thinking about it. Because I've never played Thousand Year Door. 
I played like Paper Mario 64 a bunch, but never Thousand Year Door, I never had it. I think that'd be really good to play. Um, I don't want to play the second Drawn to Life. I suppose I need to set up an emulator for if I was going to do that Nuzlocke anyway, so, yeah. Um, what other DS games would I want to partake in? There's, there's probably a few if I thought long enough. Hmm. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, I think, are ones I'd want to play, like the uh, DS Zeldas. Those are good. Uh, I remember renting those, actually, from, like, Video Easy. <laughs> Um, hmm. I did get Crypt of the Necrodancer recently. It was on sale and I picked it up. So I want to try that out sometime. I don't know if I'll do that on stream, though. Because that's a game I've heard a lot of good things about. I do also have, like, no rhythm, though. I'm pretty bad at rhythm games. <laughs> so, see how that goes. Um, hmm. What was I thinking? There was Bullets Per Minute as well, which looked interesting, in that same sort of rhythm game light. I think the Devil May Cry series is on sale, actually. I've thought about picking those up. Or at least Devil May Cry 5 was on sale. Let me see. Yeah, they look like they're all on uh, sale. So maybe it'd be a good idea to pick them up, honestly. Hmm. Oh, it's cut out again. It's like it happens every five minutes or so. My frames drop, but then they come back pretty quickly, so... I think that's just <laughs> Wi-Fi. Yeah. Maybe I could play all of Devil May Cry in May. <laughs> that makes sense? Maybe. I don't know, I've heard good things about Devil May Cry. Um... Is it, like, a bundle with all of the games? Probably not. Or is it a Capcom sale? It might be a Capcom sale. Um... Maybe it's not. Hmm. Um... So Devil May Cry 5 is on sale. Devil May Cry HD... Um, what's that, that, what's that have? Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3 is on the HD collection. I mean, three games for 13 bucks is pretty good. I feel like I've heard some of them aren't very good, like one or two, but I guess that could make for good content, who knows? Um, and I'm assuming Devil May Cry 4 is on sale. DMC, Devil May Cry? I think I'd have to Google which of the ones I want. Um, because I have no idea. Like, which game is the one you want. Anyway, I was looking at my Steam library. Um, oh yeah! Uh, Sports Story is coming out next year. I'm actually really excited for that. Uh, it's a sequel to, like, Golf Story, which is a... I think it was only a Switch game, actually. But it was a really, it's a really charming, like, good, I guess, RPG golf game? Which sounds kind of dumb, but it's really, really good, actually. Uh, I would highly recommend it if you can play it at some point. Um, and there's been, like, no news. Like, the, the Twitter for the, uh, like, golf story uh, hasn't tweeted any updates, or they hadn't, until the recent uh, Nintendo Indie Direct on our sports story, on, like, since last year's Christmas. And everyone's like, yeah, it's been cancelled. Nothing's happening with it. And then, new Indie Direct, there's news on it. It's coming out next year, which I'm very excited for. That would be very... very fun to play, I think, and I will pick it up at some point. Um, <laughs> this Cube World. Oh, Cube World. Oh, that's such a sad game. If, if you don't know Cube World, there was a game made by, like, one one guy... And his wife, I think, as well. Uh, and it was... Uh, when did that even come out? It must have been, like, 2000... In the realm of 2011 to 13, I think, the beta would have come out. Somewhere around there, maybe. I could be wrong. And then there was no news on it whatsoever. 
and then it came out again recently, like a new version of it, and it like wasn't at all what people wanted, and then he just like he, he must not be able to deal with stress and like internet criticism, something like that, or just a large amount of it. Because I don't think it's been touched since everyone was like, yeah, this is not what we wanted or paid for. Yeah, <laughs> damn is right. It's, yeah, I played a little bit of it when the Steam release came out, and I just kind of kept getting killed in the first area. Because I think there's, like, there's no real forward progression now. Because you get the, like, the boss, or the good loot, in each, like, zone. And if you take it out of the zone, it doesn't keep any of the stats or something like that. I can't quite remember. But it just kind of kills that forward progression, I guess. Yeah, I had one of the original keys to the beta, though. I don't know if I'd be able to find it. Actually, maybe I did. I don't remember if I bought it for Steam. It's just pretty sad. I really do like its, like, very voxel, pixel style as well. Like, it's very charming, but it just wasn't, wasn't meant to be, I guess. Which is pretty sad, actually. I don't think there's been any updates to Cube World, like, at all. I was subscribed to the subreddit, but after a while it just became, um... <laughs> is this game ever going to get updates? Like, that was the <laughs> every single post, so... Um... Media? Twitter? Yeah, Wolfram Von Funk. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bad Bug, this sus. It's too real. Oh, uh, yeah, he hasn't tweeted since 2019, which is pretty sad. <laughs> Just look at the other stuff, it's fine, it's gone now. How you, how you going, Batbug? <laughs> have you heard of Cube World? You ever hear about Cube World, Batbug? Uh, that feels bad. Doing okay? That's good. Yeah, you know about it? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's so, it's such a sad thing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's been any updates at all. Which is quite disappointing. I don't know. I'm just going through my Steam library right now. I, it seems like I can stream uh, on this internet. One of those crowdfunded games that didn't get managed? Yeah, because it was like, I think it was just him. Just uh, Wolfram making it. And then, because it took a long time after the beta, and there was like not really any updates, I believe. I didn't really follow the story that closely, because I just kind of forgot about it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, when it came out, it was completely different from the beta. So that did not go down well. And then he disappeared, because internet criticism, I suppose. He just Thanos snapped away. Hmm. Which, like, I guess I can somewhat understand from, a, like, an emotional standpoint. But if internet criticism fucks you up that badly and it's people wanting to play the game they paid for, I think you should get, like, a community manager or something. So there's a middleman and you don't see all the complaints. Or, I don't know, get a get some sort of strategy to deal with the amount of criticism you'd get like I don't know maybe he'll come back and change everything again but I kind of doubt it since there hasn't been a tweet since like 2019 it's just I guess how it goes sometimes oh yeah I don't think I actually told you my uh, my tea came in bad bug I was drinking it earlier actually it's uh, not bad it's like a a light black tea with some fruity notes is how I'd describe it <laughs> That's my non-professional's way of talking about it. Yeah, I don't like black tea that much, but this isn't actually too bad. I did finish it all already. Not the entire bag, but... Uh, what's in mine? I did have the link up, actually. Uh, do I still have it copy and pasted? I do. There we go. Uh, in mine... is... Uh, Earl Grey Moonlight, White Blueberry, and Lavender Lemon. It's pretty good. 
I, I am enjoying drinking it. Bye bye. I just got the uh, three Oz pouch, whatever an Oz is. Your choice is, yeah, it's more of a color palette thing. You couldn't really go off law because I don't <laughs> have much at all. Like the one cassette, I'd, yeah, yeah, that was a good choice. I think um, that worked well. What is in the Earl Grey Moonlight actually? Is that the one that has... Um, the cream blend. Comforting flavors of vanilla and cream combined to soften the citrus notes of the tra traditional Earl Grey. Your taste buds will swoon at the first sip of our Earl Grey Moonlight. Yeah, it's very fitting. Character-wise, I guess? Moonlight? Yeah. I did see the uh, eclipse, actually, when it happened the other night. That's pretty cool. Big old orange moon. Yeah, I, I think I over... I oversteeped my cup today, though, because it was a little more bitter than the one I had before. Hmm. Actually, what was in yours, Batbug? I don't remember. Check out the whole series. Let me have a look. Forest berries, peach oolong, and ginseng green. I think uh, you said it smelled really good, but it just didn't really taste like much, I believe. Which is, I guess, kind of to be expected from <laughs> piecing these things together on a random website. Smells, yeah, mine smells pretty good too. I can't really smell it anymore. Like, let me open my pot up. Yeah. It just kind of tastes like any generic unsweetened tea? Ah, fair enough. At least it's not, like, super bad then or anything. It's not undrinkable. $5 saving coupon? Whoa! No way. I'm glad I now know about Adagio, though. That's a, that's a good website to play around with. Might try it again and steep it a bit longer? Maybe put some... Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that with mine, actually. I might try out putting some honey in it. A good bit of sweetener. Mm. Yeah, because it'd bring out the flavors more, but it would make it more bitter, I guess. That's how tea works, I think. <laughs> I like how there's just the, the bat grub. <laughs> just, like, the image stuck to all these random bags. I don't know, it's goofy to me. <laughs> Same thing with mine. Yeah, the, the sun one? Yeah, it's, that's a good one. <laughs> I like, you can just see his mischievous face in the corner. I added Noah's one, but it hasn't actually showed up yet. I'd assume I'd need to, like, restart it or something. That might have done it. I hit the refresh button. Let's see if it comes up. It's <laughs> just a little stinker. A little stinky, yeah. A little bit of stinker. <laughs> completely forgot what I was looking at in my Steam library. I got distracted by tea, which is a good thing to be distracted by, to be fair. Um, actually, I, I don't really made Loose Leaf before this, so I'm going to try out some different ones, because I did buy Loose Leaf Jasmine Tea, like, <laughs> six months ago, and I've just never used it, because I haven't really done Loose Leaf before. Now I know how. I mean, it's not that complicated. I just hadn't taken the time to look at it. I do want to try it. Um, I do have D Dangan Romper, but I feel like I wouldn't want to play that on stream, I think. I don't know. It's the same thing with the uh, Ace Attorney games. Because sometimes I can, like, miss things a little, a little simple. I know sometimes that happens to me, or other times I'll just get it right away. Uh, and that'd be one of those ones where I'd probably miss stuff, I think. So... I don't know if I want to play that on stream. Hmm. Might go through Dark Souls 3 again at some point, because I haven't played that in a long time. 
and I saw many playing it. Kind of made me think about it as well. Um, hmm. I probably uninstalled Dicey Dungeons. I don't need that installed anymore. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I still haven't finished my Elden Ring game. Uh, I, I need to start it up again. I'm like 20 or 30 hours in. I don't know, it's just kind of daunting with how long it is. And I need to like remember where the fuck I am. I think a meteorite just landed. Or landed somewhere, because I beat, um... What's he called? Radan. And I also beat the... The woman. The, the magic lady. I can't quite remember. I think the Fallout Fallout games would be wouldn't be bad to play either. I just have to make sure they don't crash twenty four seven. Oh, farming simulator seventeen any and eighteen. Holy shit! Now that's got to be one I gotta play. Um, I don't even know what this game is. It's on here though. Probably won't play a fighting game on stream because I. My brain would melt, I think. Um, played the Half-Lifes. I guess I could play uh, Black Mesa, because that's like a cool remake. Maybe I'll do that at some point. I know, there's a lot of things I could play. Um, hmm. Oh, dropped out again. Alright, that one took a little while to come back. Fair enough. I wonder when the Katana Zero stuff is coming out, actually. Or if it's even being announced. If, like, when the second thing is coming out, or the second half. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's going to be a DLC or a second game. I have to enter my <laughs> date of birth? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Katana Zero. Awesome. Haven't heard anything about it? Yeah. I feel like I would have heard something about it if there was news. Um. Humble Bundle trailer. Doesn't really look like there's a news section on this website. Twitter. Twitter.com. Have they said anything? Uh, watch a sneak peek preview of the upcoming Katana Zero DLC here. That was September 3rd. Um, that doesn't really count, though. Yeah, it doesn't... From the people in the uh, Twitter reply section going, Release date when? No release date? It didn't say? I'd assume uh, they haven't announced it. <laughs> Dang it. I would like to know when that comes out, though. I really enjoyed playing that game. It was good, it was good. Um, hmm. What else is in here? Left for Dead? I could play The Typing of the Dead. Maybe that'd be kind of goofy. I don't actually have that, though. I could do, do Shadow of Mordor. I never played that, but watching Jester play... He might be playing the new one. I don't know. I did kind of like... I got reminded of the whole orc system. Oh, I dropped out again. Which is pretty cool. You are speedrunning Katana Zero. Oh! How fast did you get? How did it go? <laughs> you better be holding the world record right now. Katana Zero... Speedrun. Let me, let me take a look at it. Um, just taking a bit to load. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it was just over 30 minutes. At the time I was like 80th or something. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. It's a lot better than I would have been. Can 
Can I change that? <laughs> uh, hold on. I don't know, bad but I'm, I'm seeing different things here. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, hey, save that. Personally, it looks like you are top of the leaderboard for me. I don't know. That's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you mean. That's not 80th. I, uh, I tried to replace the- there was a Canadian flag next to the person on the top of the leaderboard. And I tried to replace it with the US flag and I just fucking deleted it. <laughs> it didn't really work. That bit was not worth it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um... Shadow of Mordor. My Knight isn't a bad game that's just multiplayer. Um... I don't actually know what Murder by Numbers is, but I saw Jaruna playing it at some point. Uh, so maybe I can look into that. Um, don't know what that game is. I've played near. Um, hmm. Played Outer Wilds? I would die if I played Polybridge on stream. My brain would explode. Actually, I thought about playing, um... Shit, what's it called? Uh... Video game. You do the passports. Uh... Fuck. And there's like the uh, Atoska. It's like, glory to Atoska. Um... Oh my god. Papers, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's it. I thought about playing that on stream. Purely because I think I would have, like, <laughs> three separate meltdowns while playing it. I don't think I'd be able to manage it uh, at all. I would constantly be forgetting to do stuff, so I would die very, very quickly and fuck up a lot of things. But it'd be kind of funny. Just me absolutely bum-fucking this, like, <laughs> part, like uh, border checkpoint. I'd be so bad at it. I don't think I own it, though, actually. Um... Because like, there's a lot of stuff you got to handle in that game later on, uh, later on. So, um, I, I could play Pyre at some point. I don't even know what Pyre actually is though. It's just made by um, Supergiant, like the Hades Bastion people, and Transistor as well. So I'd assume it's good, but I don't really know what it's about. Uh, there was a Resident Evil DLC that came out. Uh, I could play that. The Sea of, uh, sea of Thieves? I don't know if I'd want to play that alone, though. Um, I do have... Uh, what's it called? Video game. Deep Rock Galactic. I've had that for a while and I haven't gotten around to playing it. Uh, that could be good at some point. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I might... Oh, <laughs> internet? Oh, this is a long one. Oh, it's not happy. That's a lot of red. That is a lot of red. Okay, it's back. It did not like me reaching... <laughs> one hour into the stream. But, uh, Sekiro. I wouldn't mind replaying at some point. Maybe after, if I do, uh, Dark Souls 3 at some point, I could go back to Sekiro. I need to play Bloodborne, actually. I always forget I haven't played that. <laughs> I feel like I'd really, really enjoy Bloodborne, and I just haven't played it. Um... Steam Old Heist... already played super hot. Hmm. 
There's a Yakuza as well. I think I might play that on stream at some point. I wouldn't mind that. It's like most of the games in my uh, Steam list, though. Um, hmm. I don't really have much planned for the stream, though, I'll be honest. This is more of a stress test, and I think... I think I'll be able to uh, stream this week. It looks mostly manageable, internet-wise. Um, at least upload. It drops out every once... or every, like... Every once in a while, it drops out more than usual. But I think it's manageable. Because um, I don't want to stream this week. So, <laughs> I think it'll be happening. Um, I don't really know how to, uh, who to raid now, though. Um, I do not think. I don't normally end stream right now. Do I want to raid someone on a test stream, though? I mean, I guess I can. There's no rules against it. <laughs> That's not in the Twitch handbook. No raiding people after having a test stream. Definitely not. Um... Oh, you're ending. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! Why'd you have to end? Just... Hmm, yeah. I might just scoot onto Jester. Because I don't have to think very hard. It was just a test stream anyway. So, I drunk tea. <laughs> and talked random shit. Uh, let's just go to Jester then. It's, it's easy. I don't have to think that way. I do... Dislike thinking, it's true. There's no one like a like a ton shorter on right now either that I have. I was thinking Day, but he's raiding many, so. Oh, I'm dropping out again. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's coming back. Alright. Um I think that's it for this stream though. Thank you for <laughs> coming and chatting with me. Anyone who's here in this sort of wacky time slot that I don't really start streaming and uh I don't really do chatting streams but whatever oh, I think I'll uh I'll be back on Wednesday that is the day of the week that I'm thinking of yes with Darkest Dungeon see how many people I can get killed and then inscription after that and then probably some art on the weekend I'll finish off what I was doodling this week um yeah Thank you for coming by. Hope you all have a good day. <laughs> Hopefully my internet doesn't fucking explode. Uh, like, the time being, I'm not streaming. We'll see. Hopefully not. Have a good day. Should we do a... Uh, just, just the T emoji, maybe? We can just do the T emoji. Just, uh, just the T emoji. That's a, that's a good message, right? Yeah, definitely. That totally works. <laughs>